Hello students, if you're watching this video, uh, that means I have some hope that we're going to be back to school at some point in the not too distant future and coming back to the lab and doing a little chemistry uh, here in our wet lab. Uh, in preparation for that, uh, I want you to do a little bit of research. Uh, so the lab that we're going to do when we get back is making the dye indigo. Uh, so indigo is a a blue pigment. Uh, you can extract it from natural sources from the indigo plant uh, and also you can synthesize it in the lab. So we're going to do the synthesis route and we're going to start with this compound right here which I'm sure that you know how to name. <laughs> so take a minute right now, pause this video and do the best you can to write down the name of this compound. Ready, go. Alright, thank you for pausing the video. I'm sure that all of you did. Uh, when you look at this compound, without the nitro group, right, this is benzene with an aldehyde, so we would call that benzaldehyde, and with the nitro group, this is nitro benzaldehyde, nitro benzaldehyde, and we just have to figure out what the, uh, which isomer we're talking about. It's the one that they're, we're next to each other. So that's two nitro benzaldehyde, or if you prefer ortho nitro benzaldehyde, or just O nitro benzaldehyde. That's what we're going to start with uh, ortho nitro benzaldehyde. And I'm going to give each group exactly one gram uh, of this ortho nitro benzaldehyde. You'll also be able to use any of the sort of common reagents that you might find in an organic lab. We're actually reasonably well stocked. What I would like you to do now that you're veteran chemists and you've been through a year and a half of chemistry here at Lakeside uh, is to do a little research on how to make indigo from one gram of ortho nitro benzaldehyde and then make sure that you have adapted uh, the information that you find so that it can actually work here in our lab, right? So with things like we only have for example, a 75 minute lab period. So if the uh, protocol that you find online says it's gotta cook for three hours, that's not gonna work so well for us. Or if it says you need some sort of special equipment, you all know basically what we have here in the lab. So it's gotta work with the equipment and the glassware that we have. So if you need to um, do some adapting um, to make sure that uh, your protocol is something that you can actually carry out in the lab. Uh, we're gonna both make ortho nitro benzaldehyde and also we're gonna do some vat dyeing. So I have some cotton handkerchiefs and some other things. Um, so we're gonna take your product and actually do some dyeing and uh, make some hopefully beautiful blue things. Uh, so do a little research. I'll let you know uh, as soon as I know when we might be doing this in the lab, but I wanted you to, to give you an advanced, uh, an advanced warning so that you can do some research and come into lab prepared. Again, I'm not gonna be providing the handout for you. I want you to think about that, right? And also think about how you can do this safely. So think about safety procedures too. Thanks, hopefully we'll see you in lab soon.